One of the steps in calculating a firm's weighted average cost of capital is to calculate the cost of retained earnings, and there are three methods of doing that, the CAPM method, the dividend growth method, and the risk premium method. Starting with the CAPM method, uh, we just use the normal CAPM equation. If you want a more detailed look at that, there is a separate video with a link here. But for now, we're going to assume that you know how to use this formula. Um, it does say to take the risk-free rate, which would be given 3%, plus the stock's beta, 1.5, times the expected market return, 11%, minus the risk-free rate again, 3%. That gives us a cost of retained earnings of 15%. The second method, the dividend growth method, uses this formula here, and you would be given the information that you need for that formula. The formula says to take the last annual dividend amount, $2 in this case, multiply by 1 plus the growth rate, given as 8%. Make sure when you're doing this that the growth rate is either 8%, with the percent sign, or 0.08. If you just put 8, a plain 8, this will not work. So 8% divided by the stock price given here is 30, plus the growth rate, again, 8%. That gives us a cost of retained earnings of 15.2%. In the risk premium method, we recognize the fact that a stock is more risky than a bond. So we take the firm's bond yield and we add a risk premium to get a sort of stock yield or what's going to be the cost of retained earnings. Um, the risk premium that's added is usually something between 3 and 5%. You would have to be given this information. Uh, you'd also have to be given the current bond yield or enough information to calculate the current bond yield. Here the current bond yield 12%, we're going to assume the stock 4% more risky and that just gives us 16% as the cost of retained earnings. So there are three different methods and you see we got three different answers here. They should be close to each other and one of the things that you can do to figure out what number you're going to use as the cost of retained earnings is just to take the average of the three methods. One, two, three, and that would give you 15.4%.